Okay, this is definitely something that I wanted to post and document because um, this is quite the story and there's a lot that is behind it. So hopefully somebody else doesn't have this same grief that uh, we just went through when it comes to the Nissan. This is a Nissan 2.5, this is a 2003 Altima. So this is the QR25 DE motor. Um, the about, what's it, it's been about three, three weeks to a month ago. Uh, one of these came in, it was a, a different year, but it was the same engine, and it had a blown head gasket. So we repaired the head gasket, vehicle left, the customer called, now it's burning oil. Well, I wasn't too familiar with the history of that engine, uh, but before it came to us, just shortly before it came to us, an aftermarket valve cover was put on, you know, a dormant, dormant valve cover. So after going through and checking everything, uh, the PCV system, seeing if there was issues with the rings, which Nissan had issues with that as well. Um, well. The list goes on and on. So, couldn't really get to the bottom of what was going on. Well, fast forward, another one comes in. Issue with the head gasket, totally different issue. QR25 engine, same thing. The vehicle is repaired, it leaves, you get a call, it's burning oil. Not as bad as the other one, but it's burning oil. So after both of these trying to put these together. We've talked to Denefix, the machine shop, did all the tests, the compression tests, the leak down test, checking the PCV system, uh, all these things. Finally, came to the conclusion, the common thing here was that dormant valve cover gas, or the dormant valve cover aftermarket. So, uh, did some looking and actually found an Amazon review where somebody had put a dormant valve cover on and it was burning oil really bad after. They put a factory one on, Nissan, and there was no problem. So here's the whole thing if you put it all together. It is an issue. I actually talked to Dorman. They said in October 2015, they addressed it with a redesign. It was not a recall because it wasn't a safety issue, um, but yet there's still some of them floating around out there. So I'm gonna show you some of the details. We got the valve covers here, and go ahead and bring the camera over here, and let's, uh, hopefully you don't have to deal with this problem. Okay, so here we have a brand new one just delivered from the dealership, Nissan. Here's the old Nissan one, and here is the dormant. Okay, so the old one, as you're probably familiar, and the reason you probably replaced it in the first place is the, the rings here. And you can't replace the seals that seal oil from going into the spark plug tubes. And these are all brittle, they're broken. So that's the reason we got a new one. Well, here's the dormant, right? Now, let's take a look at the brand new factory one. Here's the baffle. Here's your PCV valve right here. This is so the engine can breathe. Well, this baffle is completely sealed. The plastic portion, it's an ultrasonic seal right there. And there should be no gaps all on there. Here you have where the air can come through, but not the oil. Well, on the dormant one, let me go ahead and get a close-up shot of this. Now get a flashlight. So all along there, where that's supposed to be sealed, let's take the brand new one, right there. Okay, so that's the issue right there. All these portions that are supposed to be sealed are not. That allows oil to come right up and be sucked right into the intake. So another indicator is that uh, if you look into the intake there, you'll see oil starting to be pulled in quite a bit. So hopefully you don't get one of the dormant ones, or it's probably just best bet to just go straight to Nissan, and they probably stock them, and just get a quality one. If you get the Nissan one, it will come with a valve, PCV valve, the dormant one does not, but the dormant one comes with a valve cover gasket. It is slightly cheaper, um, you will have to buy a gasket if you get the factory one, but 
given the 20, 30 bucks or whatever it is, it's probably best to go with the Nissan one. If you decide to go with Dorman, I would definitely make sure that this baffle is sealed properly all the way around and that doesn't move. You could compare it with your old one, I suppose, but um, hopefully you don't have that issue. So that's the whole story with that. Okay, so let's just review real quick. Um, if you replace your valve cover gasket, perhaps you have oil that's all in the spark plug tubes because these seals are bad. You do have to buy the whole cover because they do not come separately. If you replace it with an aftermarket part and it starts burning oil really bad, most likely you have an issue there with that baffle. So uh, that's where you want to look and hopefully this doesn't put you through the ringer like it did us.